Alright, so in this episode, we'll be importing the saber that we modeled in the previous episode into Unity. So to import the saber into Unity, you'll need to make sure that you've one, downloaded Unity and downloaded the right version. I'll leave a download link for the right version of Unity in the description. I'll also leave a download link for the custom saber Unity project, which you'll need to export your sabers and use them in game. Once you've got those downloaded, you'll want to open up the custom Saber Unity project. It should look a little bit like this. You should see a template Saber. You might want to double click it just so you can get a closer view. You might be zoomed out initially. So the first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to import the model that we made in the previous episode into Unity. So to do that, just create a models folder. I've already got one here, so I'll just open that. And then you'll want to open up File Explorer and drag your FBX file into Unity. Once it's imported, you'll want to duplicate the template saber to make a new saber. Disable the template saber by clicking this checkbox. Then you'll just want to rename the template saber to whatever you want to call the saber. So I'm just going to call this example stick. Now once you've done that, you'll want to drag your model, so mine's also called example stick, and just drag it anywhere really, it can be there, it can be anywhere. So you'll notice that the saber is already aligned in Unity, this is because we modeled it with the template. Now what you'll want to do is you'll want to drag example stick under left saber mesh, and then just you can remove the one if there is one there for you. Um, and then you'll want to click con select the example stick and click Control D, and then you'll want to drag it under the right saber mesh as well. I'm just going to remove the one. Now we'll want to actually be able to see our saber, so to do that, you'll want to select left saber mesh and remove the mesh renderer component, and then you'll also want to do the same for right saber mesh. Now once you've done that, you'll be able to see that your saber is in the project, but it'll be grey. So to actually give your saber some colour, you'll want to go into the saber folder, which should already be there, and then materials, and then you'll have these glow materials. So now for this part, you'll want to disable the right saber, so just click on it and disable it. Then you can just drag the red material onto the left saber. Afterwards, you'll want to disable the left saber and enable the right saber, and then just put the blue material on the right saber. Once you've done that, your saber should be ready to go. So, if you don't want any trails or anything like that, you just want a glowing stick, you can click on Window, Saber Exporter, and then put in your name. So, my name is Purple, so I'm going to put that in there. And then the saber name will be Stick and then just click export and put it in your custom sabers folder. I'm not going to do that yet because I want to add a trail, but I would recommend that you guys should do that just to test it and make sure that your saber is actually working. See you guys in the next video.